questions for this presentation. So I did a little word jumble. And I'm not sure exactly what this kind of puzzle is called. I call it word, word jumble, but uh, it totally might not be. Ah, is Scorpio dev down? You're on the VPN. Oh, we have to VPN from here, okay. Okay, so how this game works is you start with one word and in each of these spaces you can change one letter to form a new word. And by the end, you get to the, the last word. So I'm not sure if you've ever seen this puzzle. I, I really like it. Although my version is super hard because I use like every five letter word in the dictionary. And like I don't know half of them. Um, so how, I did, how did I do that? Well, uh, I think like every Unix uh, flavor uh, includes a dictionary. So what I did was I found that dictionary file and it's just a file of words, right? So I just did a grep. Grep, yeah. Grep. One, two, three, four, five for a five letter word. And then I, I searched on that file, you know, and it just spit out all the five letter words. I took that and I just saved that. And what I, I do is I load that file and I use that to, um, as the, the source for, for these words. Um, so what I do is I start with an initial word, and it's actually the last word that I start with, not the first. Um, I just showed the last first. So I start with bully, and my method is to replace one single letter with a, um, a dot, which means uh, any character in, in regex speak. So I use that regular expression to match against my entire corpus of words. So for example, I could search, I could replace the U in bully with a dot um, and then search the entire you know, dictionary for anything that begins with B and ends with LLY. That could be like Bally or Billy if that's in the dictionary. Um, and I just repeat that uh, kind of recursively to, to find that many words. So. Um, can actually like specify a starting word. Um, what's coming with water? Okay, so we can start with a you know a set word and continue, and we can also modify the length. So if we want like a kind of more difficult challenge, we could have seven words in between, and there's these the sense feature. So uh, that's basically it. Um, I have this regular expression handout um, for you guys if you want it. Um, it's a cheat sheet that looks kind of like this. And that's, that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions, I'd love to answer them. Uh, before I do, uh, please fill out that survey. Um, I really want to get better at presenting, so that's just for me. Um, and I really appreciate you filling that out. Again, feel free to be harsh. Um, have a thick skin. And uh, yeah, any questions? No? Okay, well, I'm going to send out the slides at some point. Um, feel free to send me any questions. And if you guys ever have any interesting programming problems, uh, I love to hear about them, and uh, you know, if you need someone to look at code, I like to read code too. I feel you can kind of get a sense of someone's character by their code. So I read them like novels. Um, so yeah, thank you.